Here we are at Central Collegiate, the current headquarters of the Calgary Board of Education. This beautiful sandstone building was built in 1908 and uh, when it opened, it was considered to be the city's academic high school. Now, it's literary connection. Today, I would like to talk to you about Maxwell Bates, the Calgary boy who would become one of Canada's foremost expressionist painters in the mid 20th century. Well, Max Bates went to high school here. He was a graduate of the class of 1924. Now, Maxwell Bates became known to the world as a painter, but in Calgary, he is also remembered as the architect who designed the new St. Mary's Cathedral over in Mission in the 1960s. Bates was also a writer. In midlife, he wrote essays for Canadian art magazines. He had a lot of opinions about um, society and art. Um, and he also wrote poetry. He started writing poems as a teenager, around the time he was a student at Central Collegiate, and he continued to write poems throughout his life. And a couple of his adolescent poems feature the urban landscape of his hometown. I'd like to talk just for a minute about Maxwell Bates's literary education in Calgary. He grew up across the street from the Lougheed House, just west of the Ranchman's Club. And I'm going to talk more about his childhood home when we get to the Ranchman's Club stop. According to Bates's biographer, Kathleen Snow, Bates's real education was gained at the, at the public library. Early on, the library had played a really important part of the young Maxwell Bates's life. The Calgary Public Library opened in January 1912, around the time Bates was going to elementary school at Haltane School. And Haltane School was Kitty Corner, is Kitty Corner to the Central the Memorial Park Library. Um, there was a larger building uh, that is no longer there, but the little bungalow is still there. And as Max Bates walked home from school, he would often stop off at the library and hang out in the children's section. Now, the children's section of the library was a really important initiative of Alexander Calhoun, the city's first chief librarian. And this is what he said. If the children of Calgary do not have access to good literature and are not guided in its choice, we shall have in the future a population that does not read good literature. And in 1912, when Max Bates was stopping in at the library to uh, spend time in the children's section, Calgary and Toronto were the only Canadian cities offering children's library services. Very foresightful on Alexander Calhoun's art and a really an important uh, part of Maxwell Bates's um, education. When Bates was in high school here at Central Collegiate, he continued to visit the library several times a week, and he continued to do this well into his early 20s. He read all the library's books on art, he read literary criticism, he read psychology, philosophy, poetry, and the Russian novelists Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, and Turgenev. So the Calgary Public Library was a mecca for Maxwell Bates, much as it would be for his family friend, poet P.K. Page.